A juma bia ewo ne mra ene ne nhiseye a ye de eye nanso akoye se nsentre ejuma de ne nhiseye ene emra a ewo ho no ye ntoto na sekra enam so ema ministry of information ene otunfo o save to two otokoko so e hwe e de nhiseye egu akwan mu a wo susu ye nyina ene se wo bebo wo ho moden na wo de ebe ko eye nyaye biaye bebre enko ye oman yi no afa ba akope enti enam so ema wo de eye Entiti ya ni enchwe chwe a efa insenchwe e juma hon ashishe so no washasye efi asante mantemu. E ho e na otunfo ose yi titu wada jume diye no e diye no. Wade ensem e tu ujwa ese humbe hiya ese insenchwe fo yebe shwe ye kasane ya chwe e ye. Se wu kan bibi afa obi mwa. E wu mwuse criminal libel law e ni hon ne diye nansu no. E mra wu hon mwa e chre se dia ye besi aye ye nyama afa. Wu nkasa ense yi obi din, ense yi obi kura, enfane ento tuwa se sa. Ye nko enko tiye ensem a otu fo edu tu ujwa. Frontiers of press freedom and respect for the laws and traditions of our society. So, the core business of the media is to provide the citizens with information which enables them to come to informed decisions. So, every professional journalist knows that his greatest asset, indeed the greatest asset of the profession, is credibility. And credibility comes from the accuracy of information and the fairness with which it is presented. So, so. Journalism does not peddle in rumors. There's a line between fact and comment or conjecture that the profession must always respect and the media must never forget that it loses credibility whenever it publishes material which turns out to be untrue or substantially inaccurate. So. Further, the media needs to disabuse its mind of the misconception that its freedom is without bounds. The removal of the criminal libel law only removes the criminal element which could send journalists to jail. So. But the right of the citizen to have recourse to the law for the protection of their reputation against def defamation by the media remains absolutely intact. So. The laws of libel and defamation are alive and there are still laws against incitement, offenses likely to cause a breach of the peace, and many others designed to protect the peace and security of the state. So, so, any of these laws can have relevance to the operations of the media. It is evident from any close analysis of the media terrain today that there may be a yawning gap in the conception of many elements within the media. As a man with official responsibility for information, I applaud the Honorable Minister Kojok Opon Kroma and his ministry for not seeking the path of confrontation on the issue. Recourse to education is the appropriate step in our circumstance, and I'm pleased he has found this formidable team of experts to kickstart to kick the educational journey. So, it is my hope that improving the understanding of our practitioners will contribute to the enhancement of the quality of the media and diminish the sources of concern we see today. So, let me conclude with a fervent appeal to the media, to all our journalists and media owners. We all have a duty to protect and preserve the unity and stability Yera honorable upon Nkroma a wono na enka wo yen sentwenia enei waye mrache bedweni na osanso ebo amanie edema eh ujina ban anemu ede amanie bo edema omanfo ono so ede nensem etuja etre se dwumedie ye dwumedie bia wa sheda ahihye na ebeboa aman sentwefo ye gina ye na so mapa that media necessarily has the capacity to handle all matters that pop up daily from archaeology to zoology only because we have a pen or a microphone is false. This falsehood is further aggravated by the reality that a significant proportion of practicing journalists are not recruited because they have graduated from prior journalism training institutions that have been established for training journalists. Indeed, Otun, for many practitioners, including your grandson here, when I was initially recruited as a journalist in 2007, have had no prior professional training. 
It takes regular training and capacity enhancement to keep practitioners on the path of high professionalism and to keep the industry generally highly professional. The task of supporting the industry, which is already resource constrained amidst high competition, ought not to be taken for granted, nor left to any single group to execute. Indeed, the media is so delicate that leaving this task to any single group could become an undue avenue for manipulation of the media. And that is why we are delighted that it is taking collaboration, working together to bring us this far. As a government office, our task is only to support what the independent group is doing, and we are happy to play this role. This industry is one that has very little support. And so may I take advantage of this opportunity to call on our development partners to support this collaborative effort so that we can assist more and more journalists every year across the country. Nekura kure mono eye American Ambassador Stephanie Sullivan ono suso ede nensem etu uja na wono so etre e kwa yin e ni susu ye a se nse nchwe fwo ye 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 nye ma ebiti mi abuwa amano ako enkain. Search. Check and double check your sources. Seek a different perspective. Don't be misled by a kweku anansi who gives you only one side of a story. We are all better served by a well-rounded, fact-based body of reporting that allows the public to hear all sides. And often, that means not being the first to break the news. With strong and professional reporting, you can bring balance to public policy debates. You can remove emotion and replace it with facts that let us all participate in democracy. You can give a voice to all sides in a debate, even if you personally disagree with some views. The United States is an ardent defender of a free and responsible and safe press. We at the U.S. Embassy in Accra support various programs throughout the year that strengthen press freedom and also strengthen journalism as a profession, because we too believe that accurate information is the currency of democracy. To that end, if you permit a public service announcement, we have just released our annual call for funding proposals, including programs that promote press freedom, media literacy, and combating disinformation and misinformation. The deadline to submit statements of interest is February 1st. I hope some of you will consider applying for this opportunity. I'd like to close by congratulating the Asante Hene, the Minister of Information, and all others who have contributed to this program that I'm sure will be a wonderful success. We stand behind you in this effort and are ready to assist in any way we can. And some amp in Fuyina edit two journal natural say a swain nipa ya say yin yina and in central for it me edit dijuma a bit me a boy a my yung a ye and son sunye a da yemra and ne a said yin yina and tem. A ye a yumopo a summa senate ma me besumo a chibet group of companies. Won you money the da me can adorso now so dear me can for teach you dear my war a ye a ye won ni ane a wapone hum na wa yen sun kukwan swa and yan ro and e dear a sefata bwa ema ye nyi from from ye mu ni tichu ene e mofra a wo wo fi wano mo e bo ye chidom e fi hono mo a gama gama e ye kuwa e she e ye ministry of sanitation and water resources a se a ye ma me sisilia abena da pa oba o sono a wo bo e juma pa de bo a gana main e da no o se me in kancho e se e fi e fi e a e janay e ni mo no bo ma din na fre wano mo na abay e fe keni mu bi e de amaw ka kwe e bi kuma e bi e na ube tu ya na sa amre pa hon di ya ni nye na ewe jina o konso inti bo modi na fre wanyan nong kwa en waye in so mwe jume nye na so waye bi o fre wano ma bebi bie jana ye ni se ye jume mba na se fi bebi e nipe di ya kwenye bebi ya no wabe shwe en waye ni kama kama e de amaw a fe zoom lion fon so so esi me nkan chow se ahun ni die e ni nyame son pa ene nam en ti bo mwa den en potem potem en rea no e fie wye en rea vya en jen gube biya keke bo mwa den fre wano mo na wwa mao e ye kontena on so o debe kwa wun ahun ni den hun se mwano e be ti mi e di mu e wak sa kwa eno so e de a mawo wano mo e na e so ya sene ma mide sa jume de yi anase en semi e besu mwa sene sena e fata mame 
ampem da kwa eha ene breme ma kwa mame jane mum kai sobe subscribe like and share not of being sunyan senpa e chugun beda wase makramu